This is a whole section of lung called a Goff Wentworth section. And it shows features of honeycomb lung and this is typical of the appearance of end stage pulmonary fibrosis. Idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis is also known as IPF, idiopathic fibrosing alveolitis or cryptogenic fibrosing alveolitis or CFA. Idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis is a type of interstitial lung disease. Interstitial lung disease is disease of the lung that affects the alveolar walls. The alveoli are the balloon-like air-filled spaces or sacs and as the name implies it is characterized by progressive fibrosis or scarring of the lungs and idiopathic means the cause is unknown. The disease affects men more frequently than women and the age at which it tends to occur is over the age of 60. It presents with dry cough, increasing breathlessness, tiredness, weight loss and in later stages finger and toe clubbing where the ends of the fingers and toes become swollen and clubbed. And here is an example of clubbed fingers. Although the term idiopathic implies that the cause is unknown, there are a number of risk factors for idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis, including a family history, smoking, acid reflux, or gourd, or gerd if you spell esophagus with an E, air pollution, viral infections, and industrial in exposure such as to wood or metal dusts. Diagnosis of idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis is firstly by excluding other conditions that may cause pulmonary fibrosis such as asbestosis and the, the diagnosis can, can be made using high resolution chest CT scans showing a pattern of usual interstitial pneumonia or UIP. Sometimes if the radiology is uncertain then a biopsy needs to be taken to make a definitive diagnosis. And UIP shows fibrosis of varying stages. So initially there's fibroblastic proliferation. Fibroblasts are the cells that produce collagen or scar tissue and these form fibroblastic foci that over time will lose their cellularity causing collagenous areas to develop resulting in collapse of alveolar walls and cyst formation and it is the cysts that cause the classical honeycomb lung appearance. And this is the histological appearance of UIP in idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis. The alveoli are dilated into cyst-like spaces and the walls have become markedly thickened by proliferation of fibroblasts and fibrosis. And you can see how difficult it becomes for the blood to become oxygenated from the air in the air sacs. So the morphology of idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis is that of usual interstitial pneumonia and the part of lung affected most frequently is the subpleural area that is the areas beneath the lining of the lungs and particularly in the lower lobes and there is also interstitial inflammation that's inflammation of the alve alveolar walls with fibrosis and cystic spaces developing resulting in the honeycomb lung appearance. And because of this the cut surface of the lung has a honeycomb appearance because of the fibrosis but the uh, pleural aspect of the lung has a cobblestoned appearance because of the underlying cystic air spaces. And this is the outer aspect of a lung affected by idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis with a typical cobblestoned appearance. IPF is an irreversible progressive condition but there are a number of treatments that may help. So drugs include perfenidone and nintidinib 
and these drugs work by slowing the fibrosis of the lungs. Other treatments include self-care such as smoking cessation and exercise, breathing exercises, oxygen therapy, vaccinations such as flu and COVID, but the only curative treatment is lung transplant. Clinical progression of idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis is with intermittent chest infections, right-sided heart failure may occur, there is an increased risk of lung cancer and an increased risk of ischemic heart disease, but ultimately idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis is a fatal condition. And to end with here is the section of honeycomb lung. Yeah.